Hi, in this video I'm going to get the value of a check button and then display it on a label. First I'm going to import TK that will contain Tikinta widget, the check button that will actually uh, that will be actually the check button, a button. When I click on this button I will display the content or the value of the check button and a label. I will also import an integer value or an integer variable that will hold a variable of type int y int the check button will have either 0 or 1 and this uh, int var will be associated later with that check button so it will hold only integer values I will create the main window I will set the geometry and the title of the check window of the main window can see here the created main window right now is empty so I can run the code quickly to see so this is the created window right now I didn't do anything now I'm going to create first the variable of int var so this is actually the variable that will hold the value of the check button i will create my uh, or a label that will later display the value of the check button i'm going to call it lab label it will have the main window as the parent window i can set its foreground color as uh, green and background color as white why not uh, i will also can set the uh, font of this uh, label i'm going to set the size to 16 and the font two times then i will pack this or i will pack this label at the uh, padding with the uh, y padding equal to let's say 20 so it will not uh, be near to the top i can check the 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 creation right now so this is to create a label it doesn't con contain any text right now i will now create a check button Again, it will have the main window as the parent window. The variable that will contain its value, so uh, how do we know if the check button is checked or not, is by checking this variable. So the property, it's called variable, and I will associate it to the int var of uh, the cloud or of the created area. So here I will have variable equal to var we can set the text to this check button i am uh, check button and that's it right now i will pack it to the main window with the padding uh, greater than the one of the label so I'm going to set the padding to 50, save and run. So this is to create a check button. So when I click, I want to get the value of this click or of this check. When I uncheck, I also want to get this value and I want it to be displayed on this level. So I will create a button now. Again the parent window will be the main window i can set its text to get the value of the check button the i can set the foreground and background color foreground to let's say white and background to to green 
So right now this button doesn't do anything if I let it this way. Button dot back and add the padding to 70 so it will be under or it will be packed under the check button. Save and run. So this is the chap, uh, the button I've created. When I click on it, it doesn't do anything. So what I want, I want it to get the value of this chap button. So I will add a function to the command property of this button. When I will click the button, this function, what will it will get the value of this chap button and display it on this lab. So I will add to the property or reset the property command to get value which is which will be which will be later a function then I will create this function so the order here is important I will create this function under the var or after the variable definition because it will access this variable to get the value of the check button I will also create it under or after the label because it will display the text uh, or the value on the text of this lab. So I will define my get value function. You can say that first it will have to get the value of the this value or the value of the check button. So I will say var dot get. But now I want it to be displayed on the button or on the label so on the property of text of my label I want it to have or on the property I want the value this value be displayed now this value is an integer so I will have to convert it to a string so I will call the str function it will convert the integer to a string then assign it to the property text of the label. So there is a hint. It says that I'm missing the docs screen. So since I'm using emails, now I'm adding the string uh, everywhere. It gets the value. Or it gets the value. Get the value of the uh, check button or of the check button and display it on the lab on the lab I hope it's okay now I can add the code so now if I click on the button the check button is not checked it will display zero now if I check the button and I get the value it will display one so if it's checked the value is one if it's Inject the value is zero. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.